You know, Sagittarius, so much of this time um, right now is about confronting what lay beneath the surface. And it's not something that you weren't aware of, but it is definitely something that you did not want to be aware of. Um, it didn't fit into the schematic, uh, the thing in, in life that was the easiest, um, the easiest path to march, the, the path of least resistance. Um, joy and pleasure came so much easier without knowing this. At least you believed that that was true, but ultimately it wasn't. Because what ended up happening was who you really were and what you really wanted out of life was really repressed, almost disconnected from you in a way that you thought you weren't allowed to be or want. You were kind of blocked in and not allowed to really be who you were. Um, and a lot of that had to do with a decision that you had made to um, abandon yourself um, for those things that were expected of you. Now, that is probably reinforced by something from early childhood, um, but it could be a myriad of different things that you, you would certainly know better than I. But ultimately, what ended up happening was um, what felt like freedom, what felt like fun, what felt like uh, or looked like on the outside, these external joys, especially regarding your, um, your friends, your friend group, popularity. Um, it just seemed like you fit in so well. Everything was going so perfectly for you, but underneath the surface, that's not what was happening. Um, it is really interesting how we can be so tender and gentle underneath the surface, how we can need so much underneath the surface and yet um, ignore it because it's almost too hard for us. It's almost too deep or too heavy for us to even confront. We don't want to slow down. We don't want to look back. We don't want to stop. We don't want to be heavy. You know, we want to be inspired every day and we want to chase the next adventure. Uh, but what is this that's weighing us down? And the more that we ignore it, the heavier that it gets until it just sort of sucks us under or even worse, makes us start to act out in harmful ways, not just toward ourselves, but to others, being extremely aggressive and defensive and building up this reputation that really isn't us simply because we're separated from ourselves. There was, it could have been a person or um, a way of life that you were not allowed to be with, that you, in other words, you did not get to choose who you fell in love with, or um, you did not get to get the attention of the kind of people that you really wanted to be in love with, or ultimately somehow didn't feel like it was you were good enough for them. But around this, this moon, what's going to come up is all those truths and those realities, as well as this sort of repressed understanding of um, sort of the melody in your own heart, the song in your own soul, um, those things that really make you sing and really make you happy, this emergence. Now, I see in the cards that it happened a while ago, um, that there is some sort of, there was some sort of desire or something that you wanted that you kind of pushed down, I think, primarily because there was almost a sense of, um, well, I'll never have that. Uh, or I'm not allowed to have that, or I'm not allowed to want that. There is a liberation in you now. So to begin with, we have Puffin, which tells me this is all about partnership. This is all about who you fall in love with, who you wanted to be with. And for some reason, you were kept apart from that or were denied that, uh, were not allowed to have or be with who you wanted. Um, you were blocked in and the path was chosen for you because this card came out in reverse. So upright, this card is... Who do you want to be? What what are you feeling most connected to? And when this comes out in reverse, it means that you're disconnected from it. Feeling disconnected from partnership, feeling disconnected from your partner, feeling like partnership itself just is something that doesn't ever work out for you um, or that you can't be with the person that you want 
uh, the, either the type of person that you want or the person that you want. Ultimately, this feeling of disconnect anytime the subject of partnership or even who you are yourself came up. And the truth is, if you're detached from yourself in some way, even if it was through, you know, a, a series of bad experiences as you were growing up because somebody taught you how to taught you to have low self-esteem, for, uh, for example, a sense of, well, then I have to be with this kind of person or I'm only good enough for this kind of person. But it was not a truth. It was it was it was somebody that you were choosing because it's what, almost what you were settling for. And I don't say that in a judgmental way. I say it in in the fact that you just somehow for some reason didn't feel like you were worth anything better it's almost like emotionally intuitively you felt like you had to be what somebody else wanted you to be or that you had to keep earning other people's affections or permissions or um um earning somebody else's love this this this, this sense of never feeling good enough um but ultimately there is a sense of emerging and letting that go and shedding your skin and this happened in the past of of kind of coming up for air and letting go, letting go and releasing those ideas of I have to be stuck in this specific thing, this certain way. This all has to do with stuff that was repressed or hidden. You know, things that we can only do in the dark or say in the dark. And ultimately, the reason why I almost giggle is because for you guys, it seems like the crazier the shit, the easier it was for you to do out loud because it was a distraction. But this underneath was just something that you could love. And what's sad was the sense of something that you love was not allowed to you, was not de was denied to you. Um, now, it doesn't have to be romantic love. And I don't say this as just a, a cop out. I say this because I know for a fact of the type of personality that I am, you know, I'm in love with what I do. I have always had a passion since I was very, very young. And so when you ask me what I'm in love with, one of the first things I think about is that passion because I really feel in love with it. So very much Sagittarius, what inspired you the most and what you fell in love with the deepest could very well have been, yes, of course, it could have been a person or a type of person, but it could have also been a desire. It could have also been a passion, a vocation, um, 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 something that you always wanted to be or, you know, know an, an industry or um an art form that you that you were just completely almost married to but you were severed from this you were told or somehow learned to believe that there was no way that that could ever be yours that you were ever going to be good enough or or oh no no that that dream is for other people you have to be responsible for this you have to fit in this category now um, they cause a lot of bitterness, cause a lot of suffering, cause a lot of pain. Um, it caused a lot of outward behavior that was hurtful and harmful to you and to others, um, either imploding and destroying your own self or acting out and destroying your relationships or um, with others. Um, but there was that sense of liberation, liberation from, oh my God, um, from whatever tether and whatever whatever person or place or group of people tethered you to feeling chained you release that and with releasing that you became free and you got to experience a level of playfulness and happiness and joy that you were never really able to experience before in your life um there was just a sense of oh my god life can be this light and yes you went through a period of indulging in one's self and in, in indulging with yourself there was this beautiful sense of um inspiration coming back into your life because you were able to believe once again in your ability or your deserving of your dreams you would be able to believe that those dreams were only dreams because they hadn't had time you hadn't had time enough to make them real but they were possible that that if somebody else could achieve it so could you this energy this this inspiration coming back now this is Leo energy and this is Aries energy. So there's this beautiful sense of a grand fire trine and there is a grand fire trine happening. Bada bing, bada boom, by the middle of this, by the middle of this week. All right, you, you'll you see, um, I can't remember what the planets are, but there is a grand fire trine happening. So ultimately, what you need to look for around Wednesday, Thursday of this week is this energy, this this 
burst of inspiration that's coming from that place deep down inside of you that you may have thought was gone or dead, but you're now at a point where you've escaped this repression. You've kind of put people in their place. You kind of realize that all the bad things they said about you, they had more to do with them than they did with you. It's like almost like you, you, the chains are gone. But now there's that sense of, okay, now that the chains are gone, I have to resort and allow me to come out. And you're going to see that push. There's just going to be this burst of inspiration for you midweek. It's going to be, um, it's going to be beautiful. And it's going to, I think it's going to bring you to tears, to be honest with you, because there's just this sense of missing that part of yourself so much and having felt so disconnected from that part of yourself for so long that you're just, it's, it's almost like reconnecting with a friend that you've missed forever. You know, like, like, it's like a, a, a um, like, like I almost can think of, you know, that, that famous kiss from World War II where the sailor just swooped that woman up in his arms and like, they just kissed her. Um, and it turned out that he didn't even know her, but there's that, that, that kind of passion, that sense of, holy shit, I, I not only are you back and am I holding you in my arms, but we both made it. We were both still alive. And I think that there's that attachment and there's, sorry, there's just this level of, gratitude in you now that holy shit i i get to be happy finally i really really do it's gonna be okay and i get to be happy finally because honestly sagittarius you really do you get to be happy um and then we have orca whale adventure dare to do things differently there's still this sense of um, not suppression, but feeling there's complications or a sense of feeling this is like an orca in sea world, right? This sense of recognizing and realizing um, that you're pent up. There's still some some battles that you're going to have to face. Um, it could very well deal with mother energy. There is still some um, um, kind of like just a really powerful energy that's either bullying you or you have to bully back that sense of of feeling captured of feeling caught of feeling trapped in somebody's uh, jaws um um but but i think that you're ready this time and i think that that's what's different this time around is that recognition <laughs> almost like it's it's almost like it's almost like it's almost like realizing, see, it's like he caught the fish in his mouth, right? But an orca isn't a fucking fish, okay? The truth about the situation is the orca could eat the fucking bear. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And so it's almost like, it's almost like maybe you don't realize that yet. Maybe you don't realize it yet because you're not ready to, but you are well on your way to putting things together in a way that you will, it's, it's, it, you, you at the very least know how to hope and know how to dream and know that you're worth investing in, in the future. You have, in other words, you still struggle with finding yourself, um, but it's not a struggle is what I'm telling you. It's an adventure. That's what these cards are telling me, <laughs> that even though it is a challenge. It's an adventure. Think about finding yourself and restructuring yourself as the biggest adventure of your entire life. Even though it's a little bit discombobulating, it's the biggest adventure of your entire life. Um, and really, you are a, like, you know what you want. It's just, it's just getting yourself comfortable with daring to say it out loud because it's, it's coming to the surface. And this may very well imply that it's coming to the surface without you choosing to have it come to the surface which will upset you and really piss you off because you feel like you've been outed by somebody but ultimately it it is um you know after you've gotten done ripping heads off it is probably the best thing that could have ever happened to you because you needed to take that next step and you may not have um and now it's been taken for you um so keep walking through. I, in the, but, but the bottom line is I don't want you to feel like you have to rush. I want you to enjoy the fact that your inspiration is back and that you've made it through and that you honestly, you can take those steps forward at your own pace. You don't have to let somebody push you forward. Like you don't want to be pushed right now. Probably because you want to just enjoy the moment of holy shit, I survived. So that's fair and that's fine. <laughs> Um, 
I really do feel like your friends have been an excellent source of um, help and guidance for you. Um, this sense of being led. This also, this, these cards cost also tell me kind of that you may have sold yourself short and tried to fit in with your friends and sort of let your friends pick your personality as opposed to you standing up and standing out and picking them for you. Oh, I get it. Um, you know right now that if you are everything that you want to be out loud, you might lose friends. You might lose very, very good friends and you're afraid of this. Um, um, you will make more friends. You're a Sagittarius. There's no way that you won't find people who will adore you. So it may be sad to say goodbye, but I promise you those people, you won't be saying goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Your friends love you and they want you to step out and be everything that you are. They don't want you to be repressed. They like, just, just choose, choose who you want to be. And uh, they will support you. And I think that, um, I don't think that you'll lose many friends, to be honest with you. I think that most of the friends that were false friends have fallen out of your life already. Um, so ultimately, um, there was that time in your life where you were just really trying to like fit in and, uh, and, and not being who you were, who you are. <laughs> Believe, let me say, it's, it's. Whatever is impeding your, whatever is impeding you, whatever your biggest challenge is, it's about to be done. It's about to be done. Your your biggest impediment, impediment, impediment is is about to be breached and pushed through. Believe in the impossible because it's coming true. Um, what you're looking at in the future is regeneration and good luck. So, um maybe money that you lost or resources that you lost, funds that you lost, job that you lost, something is coming back um, that will be very beneficial for you and will help you break through and help you make this breakthrough and help you move to the next step in your life. There is also a sense of realizing that even if you leave pieces of yourself behind, just like a lizard, you can regenerate it. It will grow back. It's, you're not losing anything permanent. You have the ability to regenerate. So there's a sense of you may be afraid to leave something behind, but you're really not leaving anything behind because everything that you need is inside of you. It's that regenerative process, your ability to spring back and bounce back and 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 kind of assimilate to any environment because it's just who you are. And that's what I feel like is happening, the sense of being able to go from one environment to the other and regenerate yourself. This is you rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your life and um, kind of like, you know, making making out luck. What can I say? That's Ju Jupiterian energy. Um, this is Sagittarius season. There's so much fire here. Um, your passion is back. Your 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 ability to survive his back. It's it's here. It's why you're still here. And you're the luckiest motherfucker on earth. And I gotta say, by luck of the draw, you made it through again. You made it through again, and you're finally you're gonna make a major breakthrough. Let me let me see what the spirit animal cards have to say. I'm sorry about the runny nose, Sagittarius. I apologize. three came out doesn't make much sense <laughs> Sagittarius 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 okay watch and wait hold on I had to wipe my nose I apologize so way out on the far reaching corners uh when pigs fly so use your mind wisely. Um, but this is the impossible is about to come true. The impossible happened. Um, so the impossible happened. Something you thought would never happen. A major breakthrough came through. You broke free. That's when you broke free. And then there is that surrender now. This is almost... It, I swear to God, it almost felt like the, a demon was on your tail. You honestly felt like, um, I will, I will literally, I will literally die if I stay where I am. So I don't care if I'm running directly into a flame. Anything is better than being stuck. 
And so you took a leap and it was not a leap of faith. It was a leap of desperation, but it's exactly what you needed to fuel your escape because only that kind of intensity of feeling like this is my only shot. In other words, if you had an opportunity to fall back, you would have. And that's maybe the corner you were backed into, this situation where you didn't have the opportunity to fall back. Because if you did, if you had the safety net, you would have used it. There was no fucking safety net. You just had to let your fear drive you forward. Um, and then we have this card. Ooh, take time out. You have bear and bear. Okay, right on top of each other. This is very defensive and protective energy. This, see, this, this confirms you were being bullied. You were being attacked. You weren't being protected. You, you, you were being uh, aggressed upon or used or eaten. Somebody was swallowing you alive. And it was probably somebody who was actually supposed to be protecting you, which, which made it even worse and even harder. Like just somebody could have been sick um definitely you could have been dealing with a, a severe illness or dealing with somebody with a severe illness but either way there was a sense of being attacked and feeling like you were there was no way out or um that there was a hopeless situation so your idea was just i'm just going to i'm just going to i'm just going to like put the pedal to the metal and blast through and if i don't make it out whatever i was going to die here anyway but maybe i will it's like you were willing to take a bet on the long shot. Life is speeding up. Exactly. Um, this is Gemini energy. This is really swift moving, very clever energy, very intellectual energy, putting things together, being able to process things very quickly. This is just uh, maybe communications coming in, getting word from somebody, um, getting permission from somebody, or basically all the, the idea coming to your mind really quickly. So you didn't think about it too long. You just let everything intuitively come together and then you, bam, went after it. So everything happened very, very quickly. Um, and then there's the trust and divine detours, more Sagittarian energy. <laughs> Shit, you just fucking flew by the seat of your pants. You ran directly at the unknown um, because the unknown was better than where you were coming from and you went right into a beautiful new life a beautiful new opportunity and a beautiful new situation something that sprang forward and that started off brand new as well as the truth I think that you stopped being anything but yourself and you 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 are deciding at this point to try the truth that's that's what you're doing you are deciding to try the truth because the truth you'd have is you're you're so desperate you'll you're willing to try it so you're willing to try the truth um watch and wait this is piscean energy um okay um i still don't know what the hell that is okay so this may be oh hmm. um but this is about being loyal to ideals, loyal to a set of ideals, somebody who is permanently devoted to leadership and philanthropy, um, a sense of an example setting, setting an example. This could be a person that you're dealing with, somebody who maybe you feel is above you or beyond you, or maybe they act above and beyond. No, no. Watch and wait. This person is waiting for you. They were. This person was waiting for you to come around. This energy was waiting for you to just almost like wake up and realize and get strong and make a commitment. That's what they were waiting for. They were they were waiting for you to realize who the fuck you are. That's that's what it was. Or maybe this is an opportunity, but it's almost like the dreams could because this is Piscean energy. They could represent the dreams, the sense of your dreams were just waiting for you to wake up and decide to never give up. They were just waiting for you to wake up and decide that you were going to put your all in and that you were not, there was no, failure wasn't an option. You know that Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. So you just keep doing until you do. There's no such thing as failure. There's only such thing as lesson. There's a sense of getting to the point where you had to be so dedicated that that was your mentality. And ultimately, there's that sense of, um, yeah, you've been waiting quite some time for this, this level of devotion, um, this ability to be able to stick with something and stay with it no matter what. Or there has been a breakthrough between you and somebody else. 
Um, I'm definitely going to go into tarot and articulate all of this energy. That link is below. I hope you join me there. If you have not subscribed to the channel, Sagittarius, please subscribe and ring that bell so you get all so you get notified when all of my content comes live on YouTube. I put out a new Sagittarius video every single Tuesday, Sagittarius specific, and then a slew of other content. So I do hope you join me. Like I said, you can join me over on Vimeo. Um, that's the link to the extended. If you subscribe to me over on Vimeo, you'll get access to the extended readings a day before the people on YouTube get access to them. So that's a little bit of a benefit. And then, of course, please do um, uh, join me Monday through Friday. I do a daily live tarot card reading over on Instagram at born underscore without underscore boundaries. So that's born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram Monday through Friday we can have some live interactions as I do my daily reading um, and you're welcome to join that too so let's get into the angel messages whoa maybe too many there's a lot, there's a lot of angel messages here that's a good sign it basically Positive thinking and positive outcome are the two things that came out first. So positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude, and I just felt that you feel like, I'm fuck being positive because that only sets me up for failure. There is no failure. There is no such thing anymore. That's what the positive attitude is. That's what the positive thinking is. I'm not going to ever fail. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep learning until I achieve. And that's the only, that's the positive thinking. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think love. And then we have positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Archangel Uriel, a great spiritual transformation is currently occurring in both your life and our world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter. Heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. So um, I, I said this to Libra and Scorpio as well, and I'll say this to everybody right now. This is a lunar eclipse. This is a full moon lunar eclipse. Change is here. It's upon us. But it, 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 it's a message. If I can share one message with you, it is that it's not just a change in you. It's a change in the world. And so those who ignored you or didn't see, you know, your potential or didn't appreciate you, that's shifting. That's changing. They, they didn't see. They didn't have the eyes to see you before. But now they're going to see you. Those opportunities are going to find their way to you. And you're going to see things that you might have passed over. Um, you're going to finally realize, oh, there's an opportunity there. Right there. And I never saw it before. That's what's going to start to happen is that we start to see things in different way. And that's why doors that may have always been open for us, but we perceive them as mountains. We didn't realize that they were actually gaping doors. We could have walked through at any time. It's almost like Dorothy with the Wizard of Oz. It's like, click your fucking heels, girl. You had a way home the whole time. It just had to get so bad that you'd look for the answer in the right place. And it's, it's in changing your mindset that you are able to see the doors in front of you that, that were always there. Courage. We ha you have what it takes, just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. So there's a different way of doing something um, and you can get unstuck almost immediately if you look at it in a different way. Um, oh, there's so many other cards here. I wonder if they're all for you. Um, imagine, clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. Don't doubt it. And don't look for reasons why it can't happen. Just do it. Adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. And I was thinking of this card as I was doing your reading, and now it comes explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between. 
Inspiration, a new idea comes to you like a gentle whisper inside your heart. Listen and take action. This inspiration is from high above. Protection, you are safe. Do not fear. You are, we are always with you and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. You're protected. Transformation through the great love that holds you in its embrace. You are moment by moment transforming to ever greater light, ever greater oneness, and ever greater wisdom. You're like this whole, everything in your life is changing and you have to let it. Creative potential. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desire. This is total liberation. Total liberation. Total. 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 I'll see you guys over in the extended. Link is below.